My name is Pastor Geoff Mugugwa, the director of Hadassah Orphan Destitute School in Akuru. Uh, this school is a church project, which is a project of House of Abundance Blessing Ministry, Nakuru. This school came to being in 2009 after, being, after seeing how many children could not go to school for lack of school fees. So we started with 30 children and currently we have 226 children. The school is, does not have any donor. It is funded by the ministry. Uh, currently, we, we, we are facing some challenges. That is the financial challenges, like in buying food. We, we started the feeding program after seeing so many children coming to school on an empty stomach. And then we decided to start a feeding program so that we can be giving food. So we normally give them food, we normally give them uh, breakfast that is porridge at 10 and we give them lunch. The school is full day. The children come at 7 in the morning and they leave at 4.30 in the evening. So currently we are facing some challenges. That is the food because sometimes we go on debts because there is no food. There is no enough food to cater for all these children. So today is a praise giving day. I see. It's like uh, the population of the school is less. Mm -hmm. so some of the school, some of the children did not come to school mm. because some of their brothers, those who have brothers at home, they are mm. not going to schools. So the public schools, all the public schools are in the municipality. They are not attending their lessons today. I see. All children are at home, but our school has an exceptional because it's not a public school. Right. It is an informal institution. Right. So they have to come and they are doing the exams. But there are some who started the exams last week. Right. And after one and, and they finished. So there is a prize big giving day in Menengai High School today, mm. and all the teachers have gone there. So the children cannot be left at uh, uh, the public schools without the teachers. I so see. the teachers are there, I and see. there is also another meeting for public and private school in a school called Mamangina. So uh. all the teachers are meeting there to strategize uh, about the academic of the uh, uh, municipality. There's, there's all the schools, the private, non formal, and the um, public school academic. Uh, it's like they are restrategizing. Right. Yeah. So today here is a little bit more more relaxed. Yeah. yeah. Today, yeah. Today mm -hmm. it's a bit more relaxed. But the population, our population. What's is the average high. average total attendance at uh, Hadassah? At Hadassah, average is uh, 202. About 200, yeah. 202. But we are supposed to have 226. Mm. But there sometimes we get like 196, 192. Sure. But mostly it's 202. I sit, I teach class two, age between uh, nine and uh, ten. Okay, we started this school back in uh, in 2011. So there was a little boy who usually came here to play. So he touched my heart because he used to come without having anything. Then he told us that her mother is bedridden. Mm. So that's when we started this school. So we took the boy and we saw many of them coming. That's how we started this school. But the big challenge that we face mm. now is food. We don't have enough food. food. Yeah. The salary to pay our teachers. Yeah, because I volunteer to teach mm -hmm. the kids. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I volunteer in the kitchen mm -hmm. helping Mama Mary too yes. to prepare the meal. Yeah. That's wonderful. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. So just now you were giving the children their exams. Yeah. Could yeah. you explain uh, what what they were doing there? Okay. Today, like this, we are coming to the end of this term, so we normally have the exam for the end term. I so see. today is Monday. Second, I started with the reading. We were doing reading in English and also in Swahili. 
so tomorrow we'll continue by Wednesday we'll be through yeah um, how much food what would be required to uh, given the average of, of 200 in attendance to uh, to feed the children in terms of in terms of money per day per day per day we normally use a thousand one hundred one thousand one thousand yeah. Kenyan shillings yeah per day okay yeah. is is there uh, is there anything else uh, you'd like to add or say about uh, the kids at the school here or, or okay. what okay the kids are lovely they are energetic of course and they feel good yeah. when they are like uh, now it's 10 mm -hmm. we are just about to give them porridge oh wonderful and then 12 30 they get their lunch wonderful yeah wow okay well we'll just walk around and kind of watch them playing yeah, a little bit yeah, yeah. thank you very much we will take them even when they're taking their yes. porridge oh wonderful uh, okay this thank is you firewood that we use to cook uh, the school food so per term we use like uh, these uh, hand cut, like 10 hand cuts per term to conclude our term. This is our mode of cooking for school, which is a bit expensive for us, but some, it's quicker than buying the chunk. That's good, that's good. Alright, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Making porridge, huh? Okay, making your porridge? Yeah, for the yes, kids. For the kids. It's fun. Okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's good. Amma, the final day, afternoon, two o'clock, we'll have some sanane. We don't have any milk. 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 Uh, what do you cook for them? Ah, uh, do you cook for them? Oh, so on Monday you cook githeri, mixture mm -hmm. of beans and uh, maize? Yes. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Tuesday? Tuesday, na pika ugali, na beans. Okay, on Tuesday you cook ugali and beans? Uh huh. Na Wednesday? Wednesday, stagina tinakula mishehere, na viazi. Uh, that is rice and potatoes. Okay. Uh, hello, hope you are enjoying. Happy you are enjoying. Thank you. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Oh. Thank you very much. Oh, Samuel, you want you want to give some porridge? Please do try. It's good. It's good work. Okay. Wow. Sasa ni watoto. Poa. Mnakunywa nini? Uji. Oh. Asante ni. Adam ni sa kwenta vikidogo. Sa. Shika shika. Sami wachia mwalimu wapeana. Hello, madam. Uh -huh. how, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm seeing a lot. Of, uh, it's good work. You're giving smiles to these uh, <laughs> uh, young girls' children. What's your name, madam? I'm Benjamin Omolo. Benjamin Omolo. Yeah. Uh, which class are the classes are you taking? Baby class. Baby class. Wow, that's good. Uh, you know, you're molding them to be future leaders. Yeah, of okay, continue giving them porridge. So this is our ghost. They said, "What are you doing here?" I don't know, said Heidi. Come on, Heidi, said the doctor. I will take you back to bed.
The doctor put Heidi back in the bed. What were you dreaming about? He asked Heidi. Every night I dream that I am at home in the mountains with grandfather and Peter. Wait, stop. <laughs> and one for teacher. Very yeah. good. <laughs> but at the notice board, you can see the results of the midterm. Mm -hmm. That is the results of the midterm. Mostly we put them on the board and then we invite the parents and the guardians of these children to come and see how their children are performing. I see. Yeah, that's how we, we do it. I see. So we have no difference with other schools, but I can say we are a little, better, uh, we are a little bit better, even though we have some financial problems, but we are a little better because we are offering the quality to these schools. Quality of so even the public, some of the public schools, they do only one exam, the right. end-term exams. You do just the final exams and then you close but the But you're a, li a little more rigorous yes, here. Yes, as yeah. we are doing two exams. I see. Yeah. We also have the that's class good. exams. Uh -huh. The class the class exams that one is the next one. It's like we buy food, we survive on day to day, buying of food day to day, which is a bit expensive to the project. We also have a need of uh, buying the, the or constructing the, the constructing the classes. We need some more classes because our the current classes are overcrowded. And uh, we are trusting God that maybe God can send people maybe who can stand with us and construct two more classrooms. We are also appealing that maybe we have people. Our school sometimes we host volunteers. If there are people outside there maybe who would like to come and volunteer in Kenya, maybe they would like to offer services to Kenya, we invite them to come and work at Hadassah. We are, uh, w w w when you're interested, you can contact us. We can we'll get in touch with you. We can pick you from the airport and we can, co we can host you in our house.